what's going on YouTube Friday video here unfortunately it's not at a racetrack you can see I'm standing in a basement um, this is still gonna be a cool video I'm pretty excited about this one today actually we are gonna be installing uh, a reverse osmosis water system we'll get to some of the details once the installer gets here but this is a pretty cool video for me because this is this is one of our sponsors um, that's doing this for us uh, Aquatech water conditioning out of Wasi on there um, great folks I've talked about them before pretty excited to be able to you know get them on some of these videos and um, show you some of their knowledge and let them explain some of this stuff to you uh, versus me just telling you about it um, this uh, owner of the company coming over today um, and uh, we'll get this system installed and go through some details of what the heck it is why we're doing it why we're putting it in here how it's gonna benefit you know not only us and the race team but the, the whole family as well, uh, at least mom and dad for sure. Um, we'll go through some of that stuff. So just wanted to get this kicked off. And once, uh, once they get here, we will uh, dive into some of the details. So stick around. A beautiful day in northwest yeah, that's Ohio. Right. That's right. All right, here we are. Uh, Brandon, Brandon showed up. Brandon from Aquatech, not brother Brandon. Um, you guys seen his van pulling in? We got everything unloaded. Um, I'm gonna shoot the camera to him, and we're gonna try to figure out what the heck is an RO water system. What is reverse osmosis? Sounds fancy, kind of is fancy, but not all that fancy. So I'll give it to Brandon. Brandon, explain who you are first of all. So my name is Brandon Schindler. I'm the owner, uh, owner operator of Aquatech Water Conditioning right here in Wauseon. Uh, we've been in business for about 75 years. Uh, I've done this now for 24. Uh, I've been the owner now for five years for Aquatech. Uh, we pretty much, you know, we do RO systems, we do pond water systems, softeners, iron filters, any kind of water treatment we take care of. Uh, so BJ reached out to me uh, with a couple issues he would like to get resolved. So we kind of sat down and crunched some numbers and took some water samples and kind of came up with this system right here for him. So what he was really kind of looking for, obviously, is first, you know, he, has, he was having issues washing the car and leaving, leaving spots and getting corrosion on the car. Uh, so what a lot of people do is they'll put in called reverse osmosis systems. So all your car washes, when you go through those, that last step when all the fancy lights and stuff come on, <laughs> uh, says spot free rinse, that's RO water. So what that does is there's no minerals left over in that water. So when, the, when it rinses down on that car, it doesn't leave any spots, no rings, no corrosion. Uh, it's ultra pure water, just kind of mist on there. So you're not using that for your complete rinse, just that, that final barrier pretty much. So that's what's used on the large scale. We do a lot of residential ones. Those are smaller systems and people get those for their drinking quality. So what we'll test is your TDS, which is your total dissolvable solids, your mineral content in your water. The higher that number is, usually the more una unappealing it's gonna taste, uh, and the worse it's gonna leave those spots on uh, countertops, dishes, uh, cars, if you do wash your car at your house. So we can design a system to be able to remove those minerals you know, out of the water. So what we're doing here is kind of, kind of a twofold thing. We're gonna actually treat the water in the house here, then also send it out to the shop there so we can wash off the car. So this is a little larger scale one, not quite as large as you see in a car wash, but larger than a residential side you see on normal. So what we'll do is we actually kind of pre-treat the water first from the well. Uh, they're in a well here, so we need to take the hardness out and we need to, need to take the iron out of the water. Uh, for here, we just have a, a traditional water softener that we installed several years ago for them uh, to get that side of it done. After that, we'll take that softened water and run it through our RO system right here. What it's gonna do is it is gonna run high pressure water through this membrane right here. So we're gonna run her up to 150 PSI, shove it through a membrane, and what reverse osmosis does is actually, it does the reverse of what you think a filter does. You know, osmosis, you push water through, and you know, it collects the bad things, uh, or it, it stops the bad things, it lets the good water through. This, we're doing the opposite here, actually, with this. So it's gonna let the, the pure water through go into a massive holding tank over here. So the holding tank is kind of designed by how much water we need. 
So your normal residential side, we're just looking at a little three, four gallon tank. It's strictly just for their drinking water. When we need higher volumes of water, we need larger tanks. Because RO is made at a very slow rate, a uh, gallon a minute or so. Uh, so we need a, a larger volume of water. So RO system is going to produce the water, take it into our large holding tank here. It's controlled by a float, so it knows when to shut itself off and when to produce water. From out of there, we're going to go with a constant pressure pump. It's actually going to pull the water out and then push it up into the house. So this is a variable speed pump. Uh, it's a new pump that we're installing. We use a lot for repressurizations or booster pumps for people who have low water pressure. This thing works great. So uh, we can dial it in to get achieve 50, 60, 70 PSI, whatever we need for that house. Uh, maintenance on these systems are very little. You know, on the RO system, just as a pre-filter that we're gonna change maybe every six months to a year, depending on your water quality and what you use. Membrane life can be several years before we uh, need to replace that. It has a real-time TDS meter, so we can actually see what the incoming water is and what the output is. So we know what quality water we're putting in there. Uh, we know when that's starting to kind of lag for us that it might be time to change our membrane. So very hands-off system for the, for the homeowner. Gives them ultra pure water. They don't have to worry about spotting or corrosion. Uh, we install a lot of these for residential side, no matter if it's on city, well, or pond water. Uh, hardly anybody nowadays drinks their, drinks their tap water. You know, everybody buys the bottled water, uh, which is fine, but then you have a thousand bottles of water sitting everywhere. So, RO system, you can bottle your own, fill up your own canister, uh, and have your own good drinking water. You don't have to worry about, you know, if you're in the city, getting any of the letters that say they failed their test or something like that. Uh, gives you peace of mind that you're always going to have good quality drinking water, pretty much. So, just got here, we just kind of set it up, so we'll start kind of plumbing it in. We'll kind of give you updates throughout uh, throughout the installation here. And so for any people that, you know, there's some health conscious people out there, and the question would come perhaps, if you're taking all the minerals out of the water, what happens to the minerals that you need to drink? C correct, that's a common question we get. You know, if it's taking all the minerals out, how, how, it ain't gonna be healthy for me. So you get maybe less than 5% of your minerals uh, from water for your body. Minerals come from eating food. Uh, what you get your water for is for your hydration, to pretty much lubricate your body. You know, so mineral, this is more for just your drinking quality. You're not acquiring minerals from water. They do make filters we can put in post system that actually does remineralize the water somewhat. Uh, we can also put in a blending valve to blend the water a little bit to give you some, uh, some more minerals in there. But the main purpose of, of water is hydration. It's not mineral content. Yeah, and so with that, with that blending valve and with some of the technology that we even have on this particular unit, we can dial the water however we need to dial it. If you, you know, there's certain applications, if you look at a brewery, if you look at a coffee shop, uh, if you look at a car wash, if you look at a residential home, they're all going to be different. They're all trying to achieve said. different levels of their mineral content. Some want a little bit of minerals to make certain types of coffees or beers, whatever they're doing. Car washes usually want closest to zero as they can. They're yeah. trying to get the ultra pure water. So we, like I said, we'll, like BJ kind of said, we'll design the system and put in different devices to achieve that type of water. And that's perfect, yep. So anyhow, we're gonna get started on this install. It's gonna take us a few hours here. Um, we'll probably put you on some time lapse. We'll uh, get it all hooked up and show you exactly how it's working, how it ties into the house and how simple it really is to operate. And then uh, we'll go from there. So here we go.
to get you guys a shot of what uh, too many dissolved solids in your water can do and what it will do. And this is part of the reason we did the RO system like we talked about. So this faucet here is only probably a year old. Mm -hmm. And if you see, it's kind of nasty looking. And it's clean water. There's nothing wrong with the water, but that's what happens. You get the mineral buildup in there and certain minerals react with the metal and creates corrosion and so if you imagine that after a year imagine what's in your dishwasher what's in your hot water tank your washer things like that um, so that's part of the reason we did this as well all right it's been a couple hours here i've been working at not at all <laughs> not at all this has been a whole uh, aquatech project so we're going to kind of go through he's got everything plumbed in we're actually making some ro water now i got a few little things to button up but the system itself is pretty much ready to go so I'll kind of let Brandon walk you through, you know, all the valving and all the systems, how this all works. So it makes it simple for the homeowner if you ever wanted to put one of these in your home. Um, and then we'll go through that. So with that, what the heck you got going on here? So like I said, BJ said, we're all plumbed in. Uh, system is running right now. So it's probably a little confusing right now because we have everything tied together, but we put a full system bypass in all our systems. That way if anything were malfunctions with our RO, uh, homeowner can always still just turn the regular well water back on uh, until we uh, fix whatever needs to be fixed or whatnot. But right now, uh, we pre treat the water with our softener, so we're removing the iron and hardness. Then we're coming over and feeding our RO system. Uh, it's relatively quiet, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but we have a little third horse pump there uh, that's producing our water. So we're pushing about 150 PSI through our membrane, which makes our water. We have a constant pressure or a constant reader here. So we can see our incoming water is about 970 ppm of TDS, our mineral content. Then coming out the system, we're pushing 12. So we're, we're getting a good 98, 98% rejection rate through the system. So ultra pure water. So it's sending some water over to our sump crock to our drain. And it's taking our treated water over to our storage tank over here. If you wanna look inside. So RO's made at a very slow rate. So we're only filling about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 gallons a minute. So it'll fill really slowly until it gets up to our floating system here. That'll kill our RO, tell it to stop making water. So it always has a full tank of water when the homeowner needs it. So like I said before, we use a larger tank since we're feeding the house and the shop for car washing. Once we get a good base in there, we'll turn on our, uh, our constant pressure pump over here. That's what's gonna supply our pressure to the house and the shop. That's this little green pump right here. Uh, that'll give us a constant 50 to 60 PSI through everywhere. So once we get a good base in our bit in our tank, we'll plug that guy in, set him all up, and uh, we'll have good clean water. Yeah, and, and part of the reason, we probably didn't tell you too much, but part of the reason we, were, we did this system and we, we went with something that does the whole home is with the kind of water, it's not bad water that they have here, but it was corrosive. It really was. And I'll show you some stuff on the sink faucets and things like that. And dad's went through two sink faucets already and they, I think the house is five years old. And so when it's corroding your faucets, your fixtures, it's doing the same thing to your dishwasher, your washing machine, your hot water tank. All that corrosion is gonna cause a problem and gonna cause a failure probably prematurely in the life of what something like that should have. And so, we seen that right away with the race car we watch the thing every week and every week you know if you don't get the water off of it things start corroding your bolts your nuts your aluminum parts things like that and we've dealt with several friends that actually wash their race cars at a car wash with the spot free rinse and their stuff looks brand new and so we started thinking well we probably need to do something here because this is going to end up causing a failure on the race car whether you break a bolt that's holding something important on whether a heim a heim joint ends up binding up on you and you don't catch it soon enough causes you some problems we need to do something here to get this water to be a little bit better not to mention we got a heated pressure washer so we're running that water through there it's through the coil it's going to shorten the life of the pressure washer so once we started talking about that we started talking about the system talking to brandon from aquatech and saying hey what would we need to do to be, be able to do this it wasn't that much of an upgrade to do the whole home and then we start talking to mom and dad and saying hey this probably makes a lot of sense so there's a million different options here i would advise to give brandon a call have him come out sample your water it's a free estimate it's a free there's no charge there 
and understand exactly what you got going on with your water and what you need to do, how you need to treat it. Because maybe an RO system's not the way to go, maybe it is. Maybe a softener's not the way to go, maybe it is. I don't know, I'm not an expert, but they are over there. So I would advise giving them a call, um, see what you need to do, and if this is something you're interested in, you can reach out to us on, on our channel here. You can reach out to Brandon directly if you're in this area locally. Even if you're not, I'm sure he's got some contacts across the country that we could definitely help you out with something. So we'll get you some more video of some of the some of the effects of this water, and uh, that'll be that. Yeah. So one other thing people don't realize too. So like EPA standards, your TDS has to be under 500. So for all your municipalities, they, they produce water that's under 500 TDS. When you're out in the country and you're on your own well, it's your own water source. So it's up to the homeowner to do their own thing. So like I said, out here, we're pushing almost up to a up to thousand. We're a little less than a thousand TDS. So way above the EPA standards. Uh, it doesn't mean it's gonna be make you sick or anything. It just means it's probably not very appealing. It's gonna cause issue. Uh, but that's up to every individual homeowner to take care of that on their own. So like BJ said, uh, it's a free test, a free, a free quote for me to come out, test your water and make, make recommendations off of that. So um, I would love to help you if you want to, give us a call. And you said, Brandon, you also said that you see a lot of folks with municipalities, city water, whatever you want to call it. Still don't, yep. That so go with in the one city, obviously, they're using a lot of chlorine a lot of times to disinfect and kill the, uh, kill the bacteria in the water, which is great. Uh, but they have to leave that in their distribution lines to, to push to all the points in the city. So a lot of times that chlorine level is pretty high. People can smell that. We have filters that can remove the chlorine back out. Uh, some are simple filters. Some people want to go the RO route. Really, like you said, whatever people are really looking for. Uh, we can design a system for whatever they want. So just depends on what they're looking for and uh, we, we can help them. Perfect, perfect. Well, it's much appreciated. This is a pretty cool system. I think anytime you got fancy gauges that are reading fancy things and bubbling water and little turn dials, I think that, that means it's gotta be important, right? So we're gonna be very pleased with this system. I know it's gonna help us out a lot. If you've ever washed anything that you care about, you'll know what I'm talking about. You got a Harley, you got a street car that you really like, even a nice new vehicle that you like uh, and you want to keep it clean, you hit it with the hose and then it's just a pain in the butt to get it cleaned off and looking clean. This is going to help that a lot. So like Brandon said, give him a call and uh, we'll go from there.